Hello friends of the YouTube, Coach Miller Light on the scene. So pleased to be here today with the teachings of Abraham. I've been passaging, writing it down, listening to the teachings of Abraham, the Law of Attraction Essential Collection. Today I listened to the track called The Law of Deliberate Creation. So if you listen to the intro to Abraham, it has a track called The Law of Deliberate Creation that's about three, four minutes long. Well, in the Abraham Hicks Law of Attraction Essential Collection on Audible, this track is an hour long. It gets so in depth and it's awesome to listen to. It helps to tune my frequency. Well, I'm learning that I am a, a receiver. I am a transmitter and a receiver. And the signal that I tune to is up to me. If I want to tune to a higher frequency, a higher signal, one great way to do it, something that works magnificently well for me, is to listen to the training material, listen to the teachings of Abraham as one of my favorite selections for this process, and write it down word for word. It slows me down. It helps to tune my attention to these words right on here. So let me read them to you because they're fantastic. It's nothing new, interesting. The message that I get from the teachings of Abraham, it's the same message again and again. And I'm understanding that I received the same message because I still have to receive the same message. <laughs> I still could use to know this message. That's why it repeats. When it stops coming, I'll know, okay, I got that one. I'm still learning this and I'm grateful to be here sharing my process. Okay, so the law of deliberate creation. Abraham says, we are pleased to interact with you upon this selected title, the deliberate creative process. There is perhaps not a subject of greater importance. It is our desire to impart the process for the receiving, the deliberate receiving of whatever it is you are wanting upon any number of subjects. We've put emphasis upon the word deliberate, for it is our absolute knowing that without exception, each of you as individuals are already attracting to you whatever it is you are getting. There is no exception to that. Through your thoughts and through your words and through your actions, your words and actions being extensions of your thought, you are attracting everything that you are getting. In short, you invite into your experience through thought. What I'm coming to understand is that this understanding is the foundation of all understandings that can come from here. If I don't know this, I may as well not proceed in the teachings. What to know? In short, you invite into your experience through thought. I love what Abraham says is that they're talking about the law of deliberate creation and they're putting emphasis on the word deliberate because it is their knowing that without exception, we are all creating our own reality. Now, am I doing it deliberately? And that's what I'm understanding is why they came forth to put these processes out there, put these laws out there in a way that is easier to understand. I really love the teachings of Abraham. It's it's amazing, it's fantastic, it's a very consistent message, and it's a message that speaks to my heart. Okay, so they say, how are you getting what you're getting? Once you understand this, you'll be more definitive in your attracting of it. That you may attract those things, all those things or more of those things that you prefer, while you may avoid attracting things that you do not prefer. Okay, I'd like to back up here and review that how this works. So we have my thought is creative, right? And then my word and my action. And my word and action being an extension of my thought. I think that's pretty cool. My, my thought, right, that's going on in my head. And it can be word, it can be a picture, it can be a visualization, it can be an image, thought. And then my words are an extension of my thought and my actions are an extension of my thought. My, my thought, then my word, and my action, which are both extensions of my thought. And with these thoughts, words, and actions, now I'm vibrating, right? I'm a magnet. So what I'm understanding is I'm a magnet. How exciting is that? It's very, very exciting whenever I wrap my mind around it and I remember that I am a magnet and I am attracting everything that I am getting and everything that I am getting is because I thought it, said it, acted upon it. Abraham goes in with more detail on this. 
Always, as we begin to impart our knowledge regarding the deliberate creative process, we meet with resistance. For there are always those who have in their experience those things which they do not want. And they hear us say, all things are invited by your thought, and the resistance comes forth as they say, Abraham, I would not have invited this unto me, for I do not want it. And so we must clarify. We do not believe that you have invited it or attracted it or created it on purpose. But we will say to you, you are the inviter, attractor, creator of it, for you have given thought to it. In most cases, you're doing it by default, doing it without knowing that I'm doing it. You are applying these laws and processes that you do not understand, reaping results, benefits, or disadvantages that you do not understand. So that is why we have come forth to speak to you the universal laws that you may understand how you are getting what you are getting so you may have control in the attracting of what you are getting. Isn't this good to know that there are universal laws and to understand why I'm getting what I'm getting, how I'm getting what I'm getting. I heard Abraham talk today about patience and they said that what I heard in it is that patience can be replaced by knowing how it goes. That there are laws and that we are all creating our reality, whether or not we understand that, whether or not we are aware of it, it's how it goes. Pretty neat and pretty cool and pretty exciting. So now it's a matter of studying the law, putting my attention on the law so that I remember the law and that's gonna change the whole landscape of my life. It will change the words that come from my mouth. One thing that's very helpful to do I start my day each day by saying, today, no matter where I'm going, no matter what I'm doing, no matter who I'm talking to, it is my intent to see that which I choose to see, that which I prefer to see, that which feels good. Make this intention daily and multiple times throughout the day as often as I need that I am intending to see the plus. I am intending to see what I choose to see, what I prefer to see, because life has an array. It's like a buffet. It has all these different things within it. And each experience that I go through can be looked at a different way. The same experience can be looked at like this totally sucks or this is the greatest thing ever. Or maybe not this is the greatest thing ever and this totally sucks. Maybe it's this isn't very good or it can be this is actually really good. I decide which angle, which way I see the circumstances of my life. And what I'm coming to understand here, what I'm learning is that as I know the law of attraction, as I know the universal laws, as I know that I'm creating through my thought, through my word and my action, my word and action be, being extension of my thought, then I will have more resolve to see the positive. I will have more resolve to have that positive perspective. And when I change my perspective, I have a new thought. And when I have a new thought, now I am vibrating differently. And when I vibrate diff differently, now I'm creating a new reality. Till next time, this is Coach Miller Light.